What's up, Nail Geeks? Today I have some more polishes to show you guys up for review. This is Girly Bits January Color of the Month Duo. They are currently available in the shop right now. First up, we have Red Velvet. This is described as a blackened red jelly with reflective metallic red micro flakes. Formula on this one is very smooth. I did feel like it needed to be built up just a bit. I think for the most part, I would recommend three thin coats on this one to really build up and give you a really nice overall warm vampy depth to the finished look. Now, if you have super short nails and you go in kind of heavy, I might be able to see you getting away with two coats. So just to be on the safe side, I would say two to three coats for full opacity. Now, this one does start off just a touch sheer, but as you're seeing on this second coat here, it just really revs up on the second coat and you can start seeing all of those really pretty red micro flakes come out. I really enjoyed this one. I think this is gonna be flattering on just about any skin tone. And in person, it really does look like red velvet. So bravo to the fan who named this one. It was just an absolute stunner. I could also see this one looking fantastic matte as well. But per usual, I'm a glossy gal and I really thought this one popped with a glossy top coat. This is a lovely red, but cool toned type red. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of like a vampy Dracula-esque type color. Just overall really, really nice. Um, typically I like cool toned reds. I think that they're more flattering um, in comparison to, you know, warmer type chili pepper reds, but this one is just a stunner. Absolutely gorgeous. After top coating, I had no texture whatsoever and Overall, it gives you this really interesting, almost like a like a velvety look. It, it really, really contrasts with the blackened base, and it just kind of gives you this somewhat like sparkly, muted type effect in indoor lighting. And then in, you know, in bright lights or sunshine, you'll see this really nice, um, like a flaky type reflection look. Next up is the second polish in the duo, and this is After Midnight. Official description is a black crelly filled with reflective silver micro glitter. I was very impressed with this one too, you guys. I think this duo is absolutely stunning. Now, this one is kind of sim similar to Red Velvet in that it does need to be built up a little bit. I did find full opacity at two coats on this one, however. Now, this one is absolutely loaded with silver micro glitters. So if you're familiar with how, say, a Zoya Pixie Dust applies, this is kind of similar. There is a bit of texture with this one, I will let you guys know. Now, on the second coat you're seeing here, it totally built up to full opacity. I had no issues whatsoever. Formula is super smooth and has a little bit on the medium side um, during the brush strokes, and I think this one is really going to look best with a glossy top coat. So once again, there is a touch of texture with this one. I do, did go in quite heavy handed with my top coat and I didn't have any texture. It was super smooth. So it does dry down quite a bit on the matte side. So like I said, glossy top coat is really going to make those micro glitters sparkle. And normally I've noticed on black polishes that have glitters in them the glitter kind of takes like a subdued kind of sparkle effect but not this one definitely reminded me of a brilliant night sky that base is a gorgeous super easy to build up black and those sparkles are all over the place they're really reflective and just very very pretty there's a really nice dense sparkle all over so just to reiterate, make sure you go just a little bit heavy handed with your top coat and you're going to be smooth sailing on the finished look. Now, both polishes are currently in the shop right now. They are available until February 1st, so grab them before then if you're wanting to grab them. And they will be removed from the site on February 1st at midnight Eastern time. Now, I am running just a little bit late with this post and I do want to note that if you purchase them before the 10th, which is tomorrow, once again, I apologize for the late post, you'll get them for $1.50 off each bottle. I'm going to have the shop link below for you guys to check it out as well as my blog post if you want a more thorough written review on these. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.